okay so welcome back and in this video we are going to have a look at division and we'll have a look at division in a different way so let me just put the topic here division now in order to explain division let me give you an example let's say that I have 10 apples Ten apples and what I'm supposed to do is to divide these ten apples into groups of two apples that is I want to divide it into groups for example somebody has told that okay you have ten apples and you have to make packets in uh, and each packet consists of two apples so that is I want to do two apples per packet so now how, how do I go about dividing this? So let's let's let, let's have a look at it in a different way. So the way we do is we start with ten apples. That's ten, and I remove two from it, two apples from this. So the remaining apples are eight, and this two apples which I took out, I put it in the first packet. Right, packet one. Let's let, let's put here as the packet number. Packet number. Now from these eight apples, I again remove two. Okay, and what I have remaining is six apples, and this I put it into packet number two. Now from this six, I again remove two apples, and what remains is four, and these two apples which I took out I put them in packet number three then I remove two more apples from these remaining and what I get is two and I put this in packet number four and then I again remove two apples from the remaining two and uh, what I have is zero apple that is I don't have any apple left with me and this is packet number five so if you see what we have done here we have divided these 10 apples right into five packets each containing two apples so this is one way to understand division now an interesting thing or a thing to note here is that we achieved a zero over here so what we did is we divided 10 into steps of two till we have nothing left with us that is zero now this may not always be the case okay this may not always be the case and i will be discussing about this in a, a later topic when we go through that but at the moment it's important for us to understand the basic process of division so division is simply repeated subtraction as we have seen here that subtraction by the division now let's have a look at a special scenario and that scenario would be divide by zero this is an important concept so what does divide by zero mean so again we'll take this example i have 10 apples but now i have to divide it by zero okay it means i have to put zero apples per packet now how do I go about doing it so I start with my 10 apples here and then I subtract 0 apples when I say 0 it means I am not taking out anything <laughs> and I have a packet number okay so I put 0 apple in packet which means my packet 1 is empty I have an empty packet number 1 so what what happens when I remove 0 apples from 10 I still have 10 left very good then I again remove zero apples from 10 I still have 10 left and I put this zero apples into packet number 2 which means I have another pan empty packet then I again go and third time I try to remove zero apples from the 10 apples that I have and I still have the 10 remaining with me and then I put this zero apples that is no apples in packet number three so i have a empty packet three and then again i 
remove zero apple i still have 10 left i put it in packet 4 now i think this will keep on going i keep on subtracting zero from 10 i keep on getting 10 and this will just keep on going on and on and on and on and all i think there is just no limit to which this process can go on now this is because this is a special scenario so we say that divide by zero is not defined in higher classes you will learn that it is also called as infinity because we can have infinite small packets you just cannot count it so so this is what we learned divide by zero is not defined Okay, so thank you and see you in the next session in which we will be exploring further details on the other properties of whole numbers which include the commutative, associative, distributive and the identity property. See you soon.